I have to go see if any mice have grown in the mouse bush. Okay, I uh, don't see any mice. I think there's just nothing fully grown yet. I should probably. Okay, yeah. Nice light. I don't see any mice. I don't think any mice have grown yet. Wait. What is this? J95, I've never heard of it. I guess I'm gonna go try it out. <sighs> okay, so let's unbox this mouse. So now since I'm smart, uh, when I got my A60, I just ripped out of the box because I didn't know how to take it out. But now I know, you open it like this because I, I was an idiot before and now I'm just a slightly less idiot. I yeah, still don't know how to open boxes though. Why, why am I using scissors? I can just peel this off. Oh, this is so much easier to take off than the Rokat Code Pro and, Vul and the Vulcan TKL Pro. I spent like 20 minutes trying to get those stickers off. No, I'm joking, it took me like forever to get those stickers out of the Vulcan TKL Pro. Rokat have like really weird stickers. It's really hard to take the mouse out of the box or the keyboard depending on what you buy. Well, okay. The box is empty now. But here I have the mouse. So if I just take it out, well if I lift the mouse. Oh, this mouse feels really nice. The cable out. This is so much nicer than this feels so much nicer than the A60. This feels so much nicer than the A60. The A60 had like really hard to like hold shape. It's like really uncomfortable in your hand. But this is like really nice. It's ergonomic, it's right-handed. It's got this nice extra fire button. It's got a light up scroll wall. It's got a little bit of RGB. On these sides it also lights up. And I like the position and placement of these buttons. It's a bit high but it's much nicer because then you won't accidentally press them. Uh, there's the three buttons that are on like every bloody mouse up here. Uh, an extra fire button. One more than there usually is. Left click, right click, obviously, middle click, scroll up, scroll down. Um, so, with Secret Weapon Software, um, it says that I have to purchase an Ultra Core 3 and 4 activated code to access the feature of, like, useless stuff that I will never use. Um, but here it says on the box that it's already activated with Ultra Core 3 and 4. You see it says up there. Um, I'm really bad at like recording. Okay, so there's some nice bloody stickers there. I got some of these already with my A60. So I'll just shove these in here. Put this like this. And then I'll just put the other box, put the box in the slightly bigger box. And I'll close it up. Maybe if I can, if I can figure out how to do this for my brain cells start existing. <laughs> it's got 15 zone RGB animations. 5 RGB lighting effects, 7 gaming modes, extra fire button, it's an ergonomic fit, and Metal X Glide armor boot. So it uses a Pixar PMW3325 sensor, and its resolution is between 105,000 CPI, image processing 3.61 million pixels a second. Frame speed 4,600 feet. 
Okay, so it's got 100 to 5,000 CPI. It's got 3.61 million pixels a second image processing. Its frame speed is 4,600 FPS. It's got 20 grams of acceleration and it's 100 IPS tracking speed. Its response time is between 125 and 1,000 hertz a second. And it's got one MS response time. Very nice, very useful. Micro switch, it has over 20 million clicks for the left and right button. The wheel has over 500,000 scrolls. It's got metal X glide armor boot, and that is over 300 kilometers. <laughs> So I'm kind of an idiot and I never really set up my microphone to have to like take in audio and now I haven't gotten it properly set up so I just did it like a temporary at like 50% volume because my computer is pretty loud. You can hopefully hear my computer through the microphone and it's kind of annoying so I'm gonna like try to fix that maybe I can like I don't know like swap out some like the fans in my PC to make them like quieter because that's a good idea so for this first game we're in Minecraft and I'm going to be talking about the shape and like how it feels so it's a very nice shape, it's right handed, it's ergonomic and on the left side it has this little dent in the bottom um, to rest your pinky finger in and it's very comfortable, one of the more comfortable parts. It's slightly slanted onto the left side to make it semi more natural for your hand to hold and the texture is really nice. So, there we go. Okay, so now we're in Halo Infinite, so for this I will be talking about how it feels to use and just the overall, like, how good it is for using. So the clicks, they sound like, they sound really nice. Like, here's a sound test, because I never did one. So that's a nice little sound test. It sounds really nice. The clicks are snappy. They're not. They don't feel mushy, and it's just really nice t to use. As I said, it's really nice to use. The clicks are really nice. The scroll wheel is. It feels tactile, but like it has enough resistance to like stop you from accidentally scrolling. Okay. Yeah. So here I'm just going to be talking about the RGB animations in Battlefront 2. So it's really nice, it comes with five lighting modes pre-installed when you first get the mouse. You don't need any software or anything. And you can even make your own RGB animation, which is what I did. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, earlier, one of the... I think earlier when I was like talking about the specs, uh, it had the it had the RGB effect I think so it's like it's a wave backwards from blue to like light blue to green to ye to red to yellow and then it loops back and it's like really cool so I kind of like underestimated the length of this game so I don't really know so there's many lighting effects um, one of them is the one that you can get as your custom one. One of them that I have set is just going straight back in white and then like dimming, it's like going out and then like as it goes it like, it like stops lighting up at the front. That's like the second lighting effect I have and it's pretty cool. I didn't make this one though. I only made the first one. 
So I was here being an idiot, talking about random stuff that aren't important. So I'm just going to cut that out and you can have some gameplay with the mouse, I guess. I don't know.